you have the option to write it out, of course, but statistically, this condition is unrecoverable. With fear sounding insensitive, I can recommend a guide. I had lunch with my dad today. He said he wants me to be the executor of his will. Oh. oh and um, he also wants to be cremated. All right. Is he okay? Yeah, it's just, it's really weird to think that he won't be here one day. I mean, I've never lost anybody close to me before. He's always been there, just, what, poof? One day he's gone from existence. It's just really uncomfortable to think about, and I'd honestly rather just not. No, I, I get it. I understand. That's heavy. I mean, I've thought about dying and being cremated before. I think that that's what I would like. Mm. You ever thought about it? Yeah, but I'm not going to get old. Because as soon as my body starts to break down, mm -hmm. you can just drop me off at one of those passing centers and hand me over to a guide. So you want to get hooked? I mean, like, if I can't walk, if I can't feed myself or bathe myself, that's not living, right? So yeah, hook me up, hit replay, and then you can just move on with your life. Well, you're a braver woman than I am. <laughs> what? It's, it's the way to go. No, no, it's not. It's super creepy. I remember when uh, the state changed lethal injection, when they changed it to gamma stating, because it was supposed to be a more, what was it? It was supposed to be a more humane form of capital punishment. But uh, I saw the videos, and I remember seeing the looks on the death row inmates' faces when they were showing those. I mean, they look happy on the outside, but... Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, it's not for me. I'm going to need to see more research. Now, it is good to know that you have a preference, though. Because I was just going to have you cremated. Scatter you in the litter box, because you love the cat so much. Oh. You're mm. such a dick. Yeah. Kind of. James. Um, How does that sound? Yeah, that sounds, that sounds good. Uh, actually, can you explain it to me again? Of course. We would have your wife transported to one of our neighboring passing centers, and there they will assign a guide to both of you. The guide is there to help ease Cynthia's transition. No, I'm sorry. I meant the actual hooking procedure. What, what is that? What is that about? Hooking is a crude street term for what we do here, sir. Gamma stating works by sending electrical impulses to the brain to induce brain death. Everybody experiences brain death as our body shuts down. It's a naturally occurring state, much like dreaming or meditation. Current studies suggest that the brain replays the best moments of our lives during this time. Patients feel no pain. It's quite peaceful. Right, but... Wouldn't that happen anyway, if, if, if she dies? It would, yes. The benefit gamma staining provides is that it skips the trauma of the body shutting down under stress. Think of it like clicking shutdown on a computer versus an electrical surge. One is a controlled process. Components are deactivated in an ordered fashion. The other is uncoordinated, chaotic. And this way, her dignity remains intact. And about the memories, the replay, uh, you guys said that it's only the good memories. But how do you know that? How do you know it's the good memories if they're dead? Actually, as it says in the brochure you'll be taking home this evening, it says our brains generate very specific electrical oscillations linked to memory retrieval. This evidence in concert with both observations of the process and anecdotal reports 
from people who've had near-death experiences leads us to believe that we see some sort of film reel of the nicest moments of our lives. In either case, whether you choose gamma stating or ending life support, her brain will do what it's going to do. At least by opting for gamma stating, Cynthia's transition will be less traumatic. I've guided hundreds of people to their final breaths. I can assure you, you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Shall we begin? Abraham, you said you've done a lot of these. Is it true what they say? Are the memories in the replay all good memories? Why would God show us anything but the memories that help build us and shape us? Let us pray. Lord, I thank you for this day. Please accept it. Show me all that. Abraham, thank you for this. <laughs> 